Uh, hello, and thank you for joining me today uh, for today's video. So we're going to basically start at the very beginning um, and do, you know, essentially training from the ground up in all areas cryptocurrency. OK, so um, I didn't create this training. This is from Binance Academy, as you can see, which is, you know, at Binance.com. Um, so. And, and they do have a lot of great information here. So we're just going to go ahead and you can read this if you want to, but they're just talking about why they created the Binance Academy. Okay, you can see you have quick access here to take a look at all of the different um, information they have there. But let's just go ahead and I'm just going to pause right here. We're going to start at the very beginning and just go over what is cryptocurrency. Okay, so what's a cryptocurrency? A cryptocurrency is just like a digital form of cash. Um, you can use it to pay friends for your share the bar tab buy that new pair of socks you've been eyeing up or book flights and hotels for your next holiday um, because cryptocurrency is digital it can also be sent to friends and family anywhere in the world just like paypal or bank transfers right well not really it's actually way more interesting and that is an understatement it really is so now here's the deal Traditional online payment gateways are owned by organizations. They hold your money for you, and you need to ask them to transfer it on your behalf when you want to spend it. In cryptocurrencies, there isn't an organization. You, your friends, and thousands of others can act as your own banks by running free software. Your computer connects with other people's computers, meaning you communicate directly. There's no middleman required. To use cryptocurrency, you don't need to sign up for a website with an email address and password. You can download a wide variety of apps onto your smartphone to begin sending and receiving within minutes. Now here's a little um, definition or just give you a little bit more information about it. Why do they call it cryptocurrency? The name cryptocurrency is a combination of crypto cryptography or cryptography and currency. With cryptography, we use advanced math to secure our funds, making sure that nobody else can spend them. Now, there's no need to understand all of this. Applications you use will do all that heavy lifting. You won't even know what's going on under the hood. And so, <clears throat> yeah, we can take a look at these articles later. Um, but that's not going to, this is not in line with, um, you know, the the plan or the program that I have planned here. So if you're interested in learning in that kind of thing, um, you know, they have a few articles for you. You can just click on the link. It'll bring you straight through it. So what is public key cryptography, the history of cryptography, um, symmetric versus asymmetric encryption, and what's a digital signature? Okay, period. So you can take a look at those later. Now, let's stop here. So this magical internet money isn't owned. Let's stop there and jump onto this is what I meant. This magical internet money isn't owned by anyone and uses cryptography to secure the system. But you've already got apps for paying people, so why should you care? It's permissionless, okay? No one can stop you from using cryptocurrency. Centralized payment services, on the other hand, can freeze accounts or prevent transactions from being made. Cryptocurrency is censorship resistant. Because of the way the network is designed, it's virtually impossible for hackers or other attackers to shut it down. And cryptocurrency is a cheap and fast payment method. Um, when you make a transaction to someone at the other side of the world, your money can be with them within seconds at a fraction of the cost of an international wire transfer. So it's amazing. And so now let's go ahead and just talk about this here for a second what about that bitcoin thing your friend family or member family your friend or family members keeps talking about that's the original cryptocurrency and to date the most popular we're going to talk about yeah so who invented bitcoin amazingly nobody really knows who invented bitcoin we only know them by the screen name satoshi nakamoto satoshi could be a single person a group of programmers or if you believe some of the weirder theories a time traveling alien or secret government in term i'm more leaning towards this but <laughs> just kidding satoshi published a nine page document in 2008 detailing how the bitcoin system worked months later in 2009 the software itself was released now bitcoin provided the foundation for many other cryptocurrencies some were based on the same software while others took a different approach 
And so you might ask yourself, what are the what are the differences between all the cryptocurrencies? To even make a list of all the cryptocurrencies would take us weeks. Some are faster than others. Some are more private. Some are more secure. And some are more programmable. There's a common saying in the cryptocurrency space: Do your own research. And this literally, you should adopt and apply this for your own life for everything. You really can't trust most what uh, of what is being told to you by just an average Joe, someone you meet on the street, right? So we're not saying that to be rude. We promise it just means that you shouldn't take information from a single source is the truth. Love that. Now, before investing your money into a particular project, make sure you do your due diligence. Cryptocurrencies aren't all the same. If you're interested in learning about some of the different coins and tokens, coins and tokens, we've compiled a list of guides in the Binance Academy. So going over. Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, um, and a beginner's guide to Monero. In the next section, however, or the next video, we're going to talk about the technology that a vast majority of digital currencies are based on, known as blockchain. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you so much. That's it for the video. Thank you for joining me today on Game Ethereum, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye.